What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I food prep each week and just make sure that I'm set up for the week properly and I have healthy food to turn to rather than scrambling last minute and you know maybe making a not so healthy decision. So I find doing this weekly honestly helps so much just to keep me on track and make sure that I am having those healthy meals throughout the day, especially when I'm in a pinch. So food prepping and meal prepping are different things. Meal prepping is when you make the complete meal and you have that prepared in the fridge for you. So you just grab it and everything's ready to go. Whereas food prepping is more having ingredients set for you and then you can just toss things together and make a meal from that. So each week there are certain things that I like to prepare and cut up in advance so that it's ready for me in the fridge. So typically, I mean sometimes it does vary, but typically every single week we will have in the fridge onions that are fully chopped up. I love using onions for maybe um, an omelet or in a salad, in a wrap. I really love onions so we always 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 have a big container of onions chopped up we also like to have peppers chopped up usually we'll go for green peppers but you know sometimes we'll mix it up and go for some yellow or some red and add all those into one container together as well then I also like to chop up a full tomato and I like to, Kyle doesn't like tomatoes but I love tomatoes and I love eating them in a lot of different things so I'll just chop up a full tomato and have that ready as well lastly the thing that we always have on hand chopped up in the fridge is a lemon. Well, not really chopped up. I put it into little wedges. So I'll take a full lemon, slice it up into wedges, toss it in a bowl, and then store that in the fridge because I love having a hot water with lemon every single morning. And it's just nice to have those lemons ready to go as well. And you can squeeze the juice onto a salad or whatever else you might be whipping up in the moment. But yeah, this honestly helps so much in the morning when I'm really tired. And usually the first thing I'll do is go for my hot water with lemon. And I don't have to worry about like taking out my knife first things first and cutting up a lemon I can just grab a wedge squeeze it into my mug and I'm good to go so those are typically the fresh like veggies that we have ready and on hand in the fridge like pre-chopped up and then we also do things like potatoes Kyle loves potatoes so he usually bakes those up once a week and then I you know eat them also so we'll take little baby potatoes we love those we just slice them up into halves or quarters put some of the onion with them as well toss them in olive oil maybe some spices and then bake them they are honestly so good and I've been tossing these on my salads a lot lately as well just to have something different in them and something fun and they're so flavorful and so delicious when they're roasted yeah I've been loving the potatoes a lot lately and then we'll also do up a grain so maybe one week we'll do a big container of rice I'll just cook up a bunch of rice so that it'll last us the full week or I'll do a big thing of quinoa and once again these are great to toss toss on to a salad or if you're making a bowl or whatever the case may be you have that stuff prepared and ready for you in the fridge. The last thing that I like to food prep every single week is my proteins. So I've been really into tofu lately. I'll just buy like a plain tofu and I will fry that up and I'll do I'll fry up the entire thing at the start of the week and I fry it up pretty plain actually. I usually just pop a little bit of coconut oil into the frying pan then toss it up until it's fully cooked and then I'll just store that in a container in the fridge and I cook it plain because I want to be able to add spice or a sauce or something to the individual meal that I'm making later that way I'm not bored of it if I commit to a sauce when I'm cooking it then I'm stuck with that sauce or that spice for the whole week Whereas if I could just cook it plain, then I can decide in the moment what I want to do with it. So I really, really love just drizzling a little bit of hot sauce on top of the tofu, and that has been my go-to lately. And then another protein that I always have ready in the fridge is lentils. I absolutely love lentils. They're definitely my favorite and I'll just pop some of those into a container and these are really easy to just add to any meal that you're making as well. So yeah, that's basically everything that we food prep each week and that we have ready and happening in the fridge so we can just whip together meals in a pinch and I find this so, so extremely helpful. Oh, I also forgot to mention for the veggies, I do also like to have a lettuce or a kale or spinach always 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 on hand and in the fridge so that will be chopped up at the beginning of the week as well and then it's just really really easy to grab some of that lettuce or those greens and then make a salad on the spot so yeah some of the meals that are honestly my go-to's throughout the week are a big salad so I will just take a handful of greens whether it's a romaine lettuce or a kale or spinach those are the three that we typically have on hand you know varying each week and then I'll just pop on some onion some pepper, some tomatoes, 
throw in a lemon wedge, decide which protein I want to go for, and since I have them both ready in the fridge usually, I'll either go for the tofu or the lentils, and then you can always pop a grain on top as well. I love adding grains to my salads, whether it is rice or the quinoa, and then you can just pop on your dressing and you're good to go, and it honestly takes like less than five minutes to throw this all together when everything's prepped and ready to go. Another thing that I love to make is a wrap. I love wraps. <laughs> I'm honestly obsessed with them, and I probably have them like at least three or four times a week. Yeah, I'll do the same thing. I'll just load it with everything that I have prepped and in the fridge, add maybe a sauce. I personally love mustard, so usually that's my go-to or a hot sauce or something like that, and you just wrap it up and you're pretty much good to go. And then the last meal that I like to whip up really quickly with all of this stuff is like a Buddha bowl or just a grain bowl or something like that. So I will take like a good chunk of grains as well as the lettuce and then pop in all of the good toppings that I have ready and in the fridge. So that's pretty much what we have on hand each week. I mean, it does vary from time to time depending on what we're feeling or depending what's in season, but this is honestly so helpful. And if you're the kind of person who gets bored of your food really quickly, then switch it up each week, like buy something new. I recently was experimenting with roast veggies, so I was just getting at the grocery store, you know, which whichever fresh veggies I was feeling that week. So I chopped all that up, tossed it in a little bit of olive oil and baked that. And then I had some delicious like roast veggies and that was so good to add to the grain bowl as well. Just having all those different flavors and something different. So if you are the kind of person who gets bored of your food really quickly, then switch it up each week. Go to the grocery store, see what's new, what can you try that you haven't tried before, and try to experiment having that stuff ready and on hand for you. That way you're more inclined to eat healthy and yeah, it's quick and easy. All it takes is an hour or two like every Sunday or whatever day you like to put your meals together and it's so so helpful. I find we've been doing a lot more food prepping lately than we have meal prepping. Last year we were doing a lot of meal preps, but the thing with meal prep is you can get kind of bored of it because it's just the same meal all the time, whereas with a good food prep you can switch it up and mix and match and do whatever you want to do with it. So yeah, that's the kick we have been on lately and it's really really working out for us. I love it and that's why I thought I'd share it with you guys. <laughs> yeah, that, that wraps it up. I'm gonna stop rambling now and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!